Hi, we're going to turn a little miniature box today and we're going to use some of that sycamore that Alan sent me. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, um, I had a question. Um, somebody typed a comment and left how th how they centered their piece on, on a waste block, which is great. great little tip. They just turn a lathe on, put little lines on it, you know, cross there. And then that way, you, when you put your work piece up there, you can get it real close to center on it. Um, and somebody was having a hard time getting that centered up. So that's a quick little tip to um, to get it centered on there. So thanks whoever wrote that in. I, I can't remember who it was, but thanks a lot. Let's go ahead and uh, turn a small box. All right, I just hot glued it on onto the waste block. I'm just going to go ahead and uh, true it up with a roughing gouge. All right, okay, we got it trued up. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and make the, the lid here. Pull that back. Just gonna use the uh, detail gouge. Clean it up. And I'm just going to come in and clean out the wall up there where the tenon's going to sit so it's nice and parallel. There we go. We'll just, uh, our depth is, isn't very much, but I would just want to come up right up about there and part it off there. All right, and there's a, there's a mark, so I'll just touch it like that and come in and part it off. I'm just going to bring it down right there and then I'm going to go ahead and sand up the inside of it. So I turn my lathe speed down and just sand up the inside real quick. Alright, have it all, all sanded up. I'm just going to go ahead and part it off. Alright. There we go. And then we'll just go ahead and turn a tendon down on this and mount it back on to finish the top. All right, I just went ahead and turned a tenon down here. We'll go ahead and, and remount the lid so that we can finish the top here.
then we can just go ahead and sand that. There we go, that's 600 right there. I'm gonna have to get some more wax. All right. There we go. And that's that uh, sycamore that Alan sent me. Very nice. All right, so I'll go ahead and hollow this out and then we'll finish it. See how far down you are, and I'm gonna go, I don't know, a little bit further. I don't want it to be too big. foot around here a little bit. Just want to make sure my depth. There we got plenty of room. Plenty of room. So we want to come down right about there. Undercut it a little bit so it sits nice and flat. Now go ahead and sand it up. and just stay away from the tenon. So that it, the lid still fits nice and tight. All right. 
right, just uh, finishing up with the uh, 600s. All right, there we go. And the sycamore uh, finish is really nice, too. I'll have to put some wax or um, an oil finish on it, like solid boil oil. I made the lid a little bit tight, but it's not bad. And the whole thing is inch and a half tall by inch and a half wide, or inch and a half round. So, just a little uh, box. Wife wanted it for a tooth fairy box, so there we go. All right, there we go. My wife wanted it. Our youngest is starting to lose some teeth, so uh, we're going to go ahead and use this for a tooth fairy. But thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe.